Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely. So today I thought to kind of like communicate with the spirit guides and with the angels more clearly or in this case the children of the night. Okay, to, uh, to kind of connect with them clearly and to get channeled, clear channeled messages. I will be practicing a ritual or following some steps to kind of like increase my psychic abilities guys and if you don't want to watch this part you can skip to directly to the reading okay the link I mean the timestamps of the reading is given in the description box and also pinned in the comments so if you don't want to watch this part you can directly skip to the reading guys so now to increase my own clairvoyance clairaudience and my other intuitive abilities i'll also to connect with the spirit guides or angels or whatever you can call them more deeply and to connect more deeply with the cards mostly and to ward off all the negativity i will be doing a particular ritual guys and if you are using this deck you can also practice this okay the deck that i'm using is a live vampire deck and yes i don't know how to pronounce this maybe this is french but yes guys and now i'm going to start off the ritual you've already noticed this it's kind of like i've never kept this in my reading before so this is just a aroma burner and i've like poured some water here okay and now i will be taking out some frankincense this is really good to ward off the evil or negativity around you and it helps to kind of connect with the cards more clearly okay so i will be taking some frankincense um, essential oil and i will be pouring it into this guys okay so i think that is enough so now i will be starting the reading for you all in another like 10 minutes let the cards kind of like observe the energy because this is the first time i'm using this card so i thought it would be good if i uh, do something that would enhance the uh, potential of these cards okay and i can also if you have this card if you don't have an aroma burner or anything like that it doesn't mean you have to buy one you can also burn frankincense just like that guys but um, I don't want to get the surrounding full of smoke because the frankincense produces a lot of smoke and that is the main reason I got this aroma burner and I did the reading because obviously in camera if I use the frankincense then the whole atmosphere will be full of smoke and I don't think you will even be able to see the reading properly okay or you can also use sage okay but sage is just optional guys frankincense will do the work and the other method um, I saw in the guidebook of this deck is that you can light up a white candle surrounded by salt and with your left hand you can just like um, what to say lay out the tarot cards because uh, left hand is intuitive I don't know guys I just saw in the guidebook about it so I'm just like following the rituals from today I will be following the rituals for each card like I didn't notice this before but then suddenly I came to this understanding that I should do it before using this card because I need to give respect to the cards before you use them right so yes guys I will just um, kind of like breathe in and breathe out and imagine a white light coming into these cards and kind of meditate for a while before I start the reading so I will be back after some time okay so yes guys bye i will be back guys so uh, i'm back guys now we will be starting the reading but just before that i just wanted you all to um please 
comment down below and let me know if you like this if you like me doing like this every day before i start the reading i mean like every card that i use has a different method to work with so i will just explain these methods to you and kind of like do the reading after that and if you want me to kind of do like this every day before i start the reading make sure to comment down below and please let me go um, let me know guys and i hope you really enjoy this reading now i will be starting the reading for you all guys so let's go and start the reading so this is for you all my lovely Libra so let us see what is coming up for your general energies for your love energies and also for the overall energies okay so first let us see what is coming up for your general energies we have the hope I'll just keep it here for your love energies transgression for your overall energies we have the redemption so yes i'll just take out all these cards keep them aside and start the reading for you all guys For your general energies, for your love energies, for your overall energies. Oh my god, this card also came up. We have the twist, but I'll just be keeping it inside. Okay, so, yes guys. So with these cards for your general energies, um, Libras, all I can get for you here is that the universe is trying to tell you to have hope in the situation you just have to hope that everything will go according to your expectations just hope that things will turn out to be just like you wanted it to be and yes and just have hope in the situation go with the flow manifest what you're supposed to and also let go of certain things that you feel like you need to let go of that you feel like you don't have to manifest it anymore okay and yes guys that is it that is the overall energy that i'm getting here for you guys that just do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and let go of the things if you feel like you need to let go of certain things please let it go i mean like don't try to manifest it if you feel you cannot manifest it just be happy and you will see that everything is kind of like going according to your expectations okay so that is again what i'm getting you guys just think um, only the best i mean only good about the situation don't have any kind of negative feelings or don't be negative about anything just try to be positive and i see that you will probably get the changes whatever you want to into your physical reality so maximum try to stay I mean open to what you have okay so let us see what is coming up for your other love energies for your love energies this person likes i mean they even adore like the mistakes that you make they want to make it right i mean like they they're not angry if you've made some mistakes instead this person wants uh, you to kind of realize and they want you to change so the energy goes like this guys okay they don't see uh, you as a worst person they don't see you as a bad person they definitely have a lot of feelings towards you definitely they are thinking a lot to manifest with you and i can also say here for you libras that this person has a lot of things that they have to manifest a lot of feelings that they want to express before they come towards you okay so they will come towards you once they feel safe once they feel happy and yes that is the major energy that i'm getting here guys 
my lovelies so i hope you got the overall energies guys my lovely libra so yes that is all i'm getting here okay Also, what I'm getting here for you guys, Libras, is that there are several things that you have to concentrate on. I mean, like there are several things that you need to concentrate on and that you need to pay attention to that you're kind of leaving out on certain things, or you just feel there are too many things for you to concentrate on and you just don't know what where to start. Okay, but your person really um they understand your flaws they love your flaws i don't know why i'm getting this message but this person definitely loves you a lot they care about you and they also want to forgive you or you need to forgive the people that you feel you need to forgive guys and yes do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and you will see that everything will go according to your expectations everything will kind of like manifest just like you wanted it to be and all of that okay so this is all i'm getting here for you guys i hope you got the overall energies my lovely is bye i see you all tomorrow guys bye Libras, 